I actually came up with the idea. I, I did a lot of touring with bands, uh, tour all over the US, Europe. Um, I also did a lot of personal traveling through Central America. And it was coming across some of these abandoned towns that, that everybody just left. They just, you know, they abandoned it, as a lot of people call them ghost towns. And it kind of gets you wondering, What's, what's your town or your house going to be like in 150 years? Uh, there was a town in New Mexico, New Mexico called Cuervo, and that's really what uh, intrigued my interest in, in trying to research some of these towns and uh, you know find out why this is where people live their lives. Uh, people were born there, people passed away there, and now the whole town's just abandoned. So Cuervo was a town uh, just right along what's now Interstate 40. And I went through there with a couple bands and we just, we walked around the town and there's still a school, there's still a, uh, a church that has a bell that you can ring. Uh, there's a old gas station, a few houses and, and nobody lives there. Nobody's been there for, for many, many years. And it just got me wondering. So uh, I took a little break from the, from the music world for a while and I wanted to work on my own project. I knew I couldn't do something strictly on abandoned buildings and, and abandoned towns. So somebody came up with a came across a website which is weird and unusual things and that's where my interest peaked and I started searching around what was what was around me in Virginia. Uh, I'm up here in Canada now, there's plenty of things up here, but but since then we've traveled all over. We've been to Brazil, Puerto Rico, uh, all throughout uh, Alberta and Western Canada, uh, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, uh, all over Ontario, um, Quebec. So there's plenty of places all over the world, and there's probably quite a few right around where you live that you don't even know about. Um, and that's my story. <laughs>